What's up, my people? Welcome to another episode of Let's Chop It Up. Today we have Patrice D. Evans. She's a belly dancer. Hope I did that right. But not just any belly dancer. She uses belly dancing to help unlock self-love for your mind, body, and spirit, amongst other things. Anyways, I won't steal her thunder. Let's chop it up. Chop, chop, chop. Let's chop it up. Today's featured meal is spicy beef and vegetables with rice and sesame seeds from Blue Apron. Nice. Prepped. Wow, my guest is here. Thank you for being here. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm so excited to hang out with you. Awesome, awesome. I'm excited to have you. Patrice D. Evans, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, well, I'm Patricia Evans, and um, I'm considered the Minister of Joy, the uh, Caribbean Fusion Belly Dancer, and uh, Belly Dancing Minister. But I'm also a professional actress and uh, all-around performer, and I mostly do it on YouTube. So that's me. <laughs> so awesome. So you talk about ministry of, of belly dancing. You use belly dancing to help people unlock self-joy in their mind, body, and self, and their spirit. So talk about that. What, what does that really mean? My ministry is primarily for women. In, in doing this to bless women, I've gotten to see such a beautiful side of women when I'm on the side of blessing them and loving them. And I've learned over the years that we have been uptight because of pains or whatever we've been through. And whenever I've been in, that situa in, in a situation where I'm showing them how to dance, or to just let loose physically, I feel like they become joyful. And so it's just been my ministry to unlock their joy. How'd you get to the belly dancing and the, the ministry side of it? Growing up, uh, my grandma was a minister and I used to catch her watching Soul Train back in the day. Now back in the day, ministers couldn't dance, she didn't wear pants, she couldn't do anything, but we all knew she loved Soul Train. So deep in my mind, I was like, she wants to dance. And then later on in life, I grew up around different cultures and I learned how to dance salsa, merengue. I was an international dancer naturally, and I did it in school. And then uh, I, I, I felt led by the Lord to do a DVD, which I did. And then I did classes and I started noticing that my spiritual side and my dance side, my sensual side together made me fully who I am. And I was able to teach women to balance that. So I feel like I took my grandma's torch and I'm continuing on with her torch, dancing with the ministry, and it's actually more fulfilling. And she was prayed for healing, and I prayed for healing. Talk about your grandmother, you talk about um, the ministry, you talk about sensuality, like, take us through like a timeline and how, and kind of the journey of all of that. I grew up truly being a natural dancer, and I studied it in college, and people, I grew up with people who, in the neighborhood who spoke Spanish, I speak Spanish, Latin dance, salsa, merengue, bachata, and then in college I learned the Caribbean um, dance hall. So I said, wow, I do know a lot of this, I can contribute. So I created uh, dance fitness programs that um, really did unlock the woman's sensuality and a balance of spirituality and sensuality in a healthy way. And so you mentioned the other things too, you know, obviously you're into other things, you know, you got the acting as well. So how does that all come together? Good question. Good question. Well, I, my husband always tells me, he's like, I see you as a performer. When people ask me about you, I say, well, she's an all around performer. I do too. And you know, I see you that way as well. And it's very rare to see, you know, triple threats, quadruple threats and stuff like that. But yeah. like true performer, like just a performer, like you put, I put you on the stage and you'll probably just figure it out, you know what I mean? Just say, okay, well, what do you want? You want this, you want that, you know, and you'll do it. There's performers out there. That's how it's all connected. Well, acting, comes in because I've always wanted to be an actress. That's what my plan was. You know, the man's plan versus God's plan. Well, my plan was I was already supposed to have my Academy Award. I should have been the first black actress with Academy Award. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what happened. That was the plan. Um, I visualized it all and I was such a hard worker, you know, recovering overachiever. How it connects is that, you know what, Casey, I think you can, um, you can totally relate to this. Actors sometimes are not respected for being overall uh, creatives, have you noticed? And I 
feel like I want to use my creative side to create. So I've already written a, a web series that I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be doing a lot with that and just kind of creating like you do and just doing my thing. I'm already a content creator. It's the same. Like I, I feel you on that because it's like, especially with the pandemic, you can't sit around and wait for people to come to you. What are you going to do on your own? I, man, I've actually, I met you several years ago in Charlotte, you know, uh, I believe through my friend Peggy. Yeah. Was it Peggy when improv? I don't think you aged at all since then. That's the crazy thing. I'm like, I don't know if you got vampire blood or what, or the Pharrell syndrome. I uh, gotta say something. Okay, this what you got? Got, This is why I wanted to come on. All right, go for it. Because I am such a fan of you. I'm oh. such a fan because Peggy did. She invited me. She was my closest friend then. I was taking my acting classes and I was like doing my thing and she had her group. And she was like, you gotta see my improv thing. I was like, oh, sure. And um, we were both single Christian women, you know, trying to just do our thing. But I went there and you blew me away. Well, needs to know that you are so talented. And that's for somebody who thinks they're very talented. So it's good. That's a good thing. And <laughs> you reminded me of Jamie Foxx. Oh. Because he's a quadruple threat. Because he's a comedian, singer, dancer, obviously an actor. That's four, right? I think he probably does something else. But yeah. Jamie, and this is why you remind me of Jamie Foxx. You also remind me of Wayne from Whose Line It Is It, is it Anyway, who's so amazing. But the reason why you remind me of Jamie Foxx, Jamie Foxx acts like it's easy. He just like the guy sitting, hanging out at the end of the, you know, just chilling. Like, couldn't you feel like, couldn't you see yourself hanging out with Jamie Foxx? Don't he seem so down to earth? Meanwhile, uh, he's, you know, huh? I'm gonna let you finish, but I gotta, you, so you, you may not know this. Jamie Foxx, I'm the, I'm the biggest Jamie Foxx fan. Like, seriously, wow. <laughs> so is this is a good compliment? It is the most amazing compliment I ever received. Yeah. But you're such a natural like him. Like you're talented like Wayne. Wayne's amazing. But the fact that you guys just make it seem so simple, like I don't get it, guys. Like he almost makes it look like I don't see why you guys think I'm so great because I don't get it. Like, you know what I mean? Sometimes I get like that, but you just remind me of, of Jamie Foxx. Because oh. you do have that glow that, you know, he doesn't have that. Cause he, you know, I think you're more attractive, even though I love you, Jamie Foxx. <laughs> <laughs> But that's the full package. But you just need somebody to, I don't know if you've already heard it, but you need somebody to tell you that you're talented. And I think he's saying. We're not supposed to be talking about me. But no, thank you for that. I'll tell you, but creative to creative, you know, um, it really it really means a lot. And you, the fact that you said Jamie Foxx, anybody that knows me, like that's really close to me, they know I'm, I'm a huge uh, Jamie Foxx fan. Yeah, like he's my he's my biggest inspiration currently. You know, growing up it was Michael Jackson. Me too, Michael Jackson. Right. Yeah, growing up it was Mike, and then it transitioned to like Jamie Foxx, and it's just because everything you just said. If I could be anybody in the industry, it would be him because everything he touches turns gold or platinum. Let's do something. Let's let's see. You know, I got this needs to uh, simmer for about fifteen minutes. It's rice. Okay. Okay. You know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna go anywhere. So, let me. I'm loosening up. I actually got, you know, I got some loose clothes on for you today. You know, just in case I had to work out a little bit. And do belly dance as well, and it's a masculine thing too. I don't know the men's male way of dancing, but I could still show you a move that I think you would like, and I okay. share with your wife. Have okay. Her. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna put a little sash on the side. Got a hoodie on my hips. Is that gonna work? I got a hoodie on the hip. All right, boom. Okay. It, it, don't don't hate. The belly dance, you're not moving anything but this. It's almost like there's a ball and your hips are going in the axis. You know what I mean? So you okay. go up like that. So it's side and then up and back. You see that? Yeah. So nothing else is moving, and you're not doing this. You just that's the Caribbean. So the belly dance, you're just moving this one here. That's it. And uh, this is what it looks like from the side. And that's what it looks like from here. Okay. And I think this is really great for women when they want to kind of wake up their sensuality because it's in that, I believe that's the androgynous area, isn't it? And I think it just makes you feel so beautiful and sexy and, and feminine, but not raunchy, you know? So if you do want to do the Caribbean, now you can start moving some other parts. Now, 
You see that's a circle with the chest. Same thing. You go up, down, up, down, side, side, side. Are you oh. doing that good? <laughs> Hold up. Yeah, I can. This is how I move from doing this beautiful belly to this. <laughs> hey, look, the, the wife might like this though. Yeah, you gonna do that? You promise? She but, gonna be like, what, what you that? You know what? She might like it for me. Yeah. So back to the conversation. Woo! That was fun. Thank you. That was fun. Thank you. Thank you for the exercise. That was amazing. Shit, I'm tired. So I'm sweating not only from the heat from the food, but also from working out. Right? Boom. All right. Bam. You've mentioned that this even this even helps out relationships. Talk about that. I have caught women with their husbands in the supermarket and the husbands look at me like I'm some big star because their wife is so different. <laughs> like, they're like, how much is her class? Like, <laughs> they feel sexier. They feel beautiful. They feel freer. They're not as pissed off. We'll talk about it, uh, the sensuality piece of it in a sex life and how that, that helps relationships in the women. And so we got to talk about that too. Women want to know. Yes, you do need to know yourself sexually as a woman. You need to know yourself first. You need to be dancing those dances where you really feel your sensual self, my spiritual and my sensual. That's part of all of who I am. That, then the other thing, Casey, is if you don't know yourself, how are you going to show him? How are you going to share with him what you love, what turns you on, what you don't like, what turns you off. I'm glad you're asking me this because I've never been able to, to say this to anybody. <laughs> they don't want to go there. But yep. it's, it's really fine tuning yourself. And this is coming from a Christian woman that I'm gonna tell you, I'm very sound in my faith. These are things that people are thinking. And you know, in this platform, I want people to be expressive and, and say what's on their mind and say what, what they really feel. It's based off of today's conversation, you've told us a lot of different things. What is something that you want to leave the audience with today? First of all, what a pleasure being able to talk to you. You're such a blessing. I hope you don't go away knowing that. That you can unlock your joy um, through, if you're a woman, you can do it in the way that I've been showing women how to do it. And you can do it by keeping your mind on all the blessings that you have, no matter what it is. Look for all the positive things that are in your day. If you want to find me, I'm on YouTube, Patrice T. Evans. My Instagram is Patrice T. Evans Official. And my website is Belly Dance Fit with Patrice. So those are the biggest place areas that I hang out and where you can find me. Let's show them how. Let's show them. We had some music. <coughs> chop, chop, chop. Chop. Yeah, yeah, got the, yeah, Pete, you got it. Let's chop it up. 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 Oh man, I love it. I love it. Let's chop it up. Let's chop it up. Thank you so much. It's been such a joy. Wow. The energy is just infectious. Thank you for bringing your energy on, on today's show. Continue to inspire others. And there's going to be some people that watch this that are going to be inspired from it. And so, good, good. I'll tell you guys is make sure she gave you how to contact her, how to watch her stuff. Make sure to follow her and make sure to get in contact with her. Thank you, Thank Thank you again. Thank you so much for having me. I can't wait to come hang out with you again. Hopefully when the world opens up, I can taste some of that food next time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'll make sure to make the best dish for you. <laughs> All right. God bless you. Stay All right. Later. You. There we go. Looking good. Guys, what another great episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and like, comment, share. I mean, we had an amazing guest. Thank you, Patrice, for being so open and honest. The energy was truly infectious. It really was. But just like any other episode, I know I'm ready to eat. My wife is ready to eat. Thank you for chopping it up. Let's chop it up. Let's chop it up.